Hey guys, I just wanted to sit down and make this video of some of the top travel destinations I hope to go um, in my lifetime, but also hopefully in the next like five to ten years. Um, there's so many and I can't, <laughs> I can't really narrow them down more than I already have and also these are in no particular order um, just because I can't prioritize them. Um, let me find it. Okay. So one, Alaska. I have wanted to go to Alaska for so many years, um, but more specifically, I want to spend an entire summer in Alaska. I'd like to live there for a summer and work there um, and really just like get to know it as best as I can. Um, I don't know if I'd be able to survive a winter in Alaska, but like summers sound wonderful. Um, so yeah, that's a big one. I really want to go to Katmai National Park. I really want to see grizzly bears feeding on salmon. <sighs> There's so many gorgeous hikes and like, I love bears. And that seems like the epitome of bear country. So um, that's high on the list. Uh, another one is Scandinavia. Like, Norway, Denmark, Sweden, Finland. I want to go to all of them. Um, and also, like, I mean, I do, I want to go to all of them, the mainlands for sure. But also, I just read The Seven Skins of Esther Wilding, and part of the books are based in um, the Faroes, like Faroe Islands. Um, and I really, really want to go there now, <laughs> since I have discovered that they exist. They're gorgeous. So yeah, that's a big one. Um, and in the same realm, I also really want to go to Ireland and Scotland and also spend some more time in England. Um, I've only been to London and I'd really like to see like rural England. Um, I also want to go to Iceland and Greenland, both. Um, I'd love to see the Northern Lights. I feel like Iceland would be a cool place to do that but also Norway too, but I also really want to go there in the summertime because I want to do like a lot of backpacking and stuff. <sighs> I don't know. Anyway, um, New Zealand's high on the list and I'm right next door, so hopefully I'll be doing that within the next like year for sure, um, which I'm really excited about. I want to do a lot of hiking there. And <sighs> yeah, it just looks gorgeous. I am here for nature and that's like one of the most like beautiful places I've ever seen photos of so I'm excited about that um, in the same realm different part of the world Patagonia um, I really have always wanted to go to like Chile and Argentina um, but yeah specifically like Torres del Paine um, Patagonia. I want to do a lot of hiking there. Um, and also, yeah, ugh. begging for an excuse to use Spanish again. Like, honestly, I need to practice, so that'd be fun. Um, somehow that, like, just about covers it. I do also have on the list um, New England. And specifically in autumn, I really, really want to see the leaves change color in like Vermont and Maine. And I just want to do a whole road trip in like October at some point in my life to see that because it's absolutely stunning. Um, and yeah, that's like, I don't know, just something I've wanted to do for quite a few years as well um, so the next time I'm in the US in the fall if I have money because <laughs> it's expensive hopefully I can do that um, yeah those are some of the places obviously there's a lot more um, 
a lot more and I'm really just happy to be traveling in Australia right now like I feel like there's so many places that I get to see every day that are new and exciting and I'm really excited to see more of that um, and like I'm really looking forward to like seeing more of the country when we leave next month um, Gap and we're gonna head north and I'm super excited to see the Northern Territory and Queensland and yeah also like see some more of New South Wales on our way back down because obviously like all we've seen in New South Wales was Sydney which is you know it's a city like you don't really get to know the state um, so I'm really excited I'm super excited for that and obviously so excited to go to Tassie um, that was like my main travel destination, like Uluru and Tassie were my main like bucket list items in Australia and I haven't done either yet so I'm really excited for both of those. Um, Uluru, will be, Uluru will be first, I'm planning on being there in like May or June and then yeah Tassie will probably be uh, October. Through the rest of our time here so I'm excited but yeah those are also just some of sorry the lighting is getting really intense some of like the big ticket like places I want to go I'm excited for everything that's to come but also always looking forward to things that I'll get to do in the future